It's time to close out this college football season for the Minnesota Gophers as we're here from the Cotton Bowl for the Heart of Dallas Bowl between the Minnesota Golden Gophers and the Temple Owls. Minnesota has lost five straight bowl games dating back to 2004's last victory and they'll try to snap that streak today as Tim Kaine Sr. leads the Gophers into battle, the 6-6 six and six Gophers and the 6-6 six and six Owls. And many key seniors for this Gophers team are playing their last college football game, including defensive tackle Rashid Hagman, safety Brock Vereen, and linebackers Aaron Hill and James Manuel. We'll see if they can bring home the heart of Dallas Bowl. Temple begins the game with the football as quarterback Connor Riley, 20 touchdowns, 9 picks on the year, with halfback Kenny Harper to his right. He'll throw on first and 10 to Harper, who makes the catch and picks up 7 in the game's first play. This senior-led Gophers defense playing their final game together as it's second down and three. Riley to throw all day, and he finds his tight end, Alex Jackson, for an eight-yard catch in the Temple first down. Third down and nine at the 42-yard line, and a three-wide formation for Temple. Riley back to pass to the outside, and Pierce drops the pass. It's an incompletion, fourth down for the Owls. And now Minnesota's offense for the first time today as sophomore quarterback Philip Nelson gets it going on the ground right away to Kirkwood up the middle for two. Third down and eight, a potential three and out if the Gophers can't convert, and it's a three wide formation for Philip Nelson. He slides to the left, avoiding pressure, and down he goes. Nelson is sacked for a loss of five. Temple's second drive is underway, no score, first and ten. Riley out of the gun, fakes the handoff, and fires left, and it's cut by Fitzpatrick, but he was out of bounds. This Temple offense a little slow getting going. It's third down and 10. Riley back to throw. He'll fire to the sideline right, and it's cut by Ryan Alderman. 14 yards and a first down. They got the sideline catch to work that time, and now Riley fakes the handoff. It's a read option. He'll keep it to the first down marker. He's got it, and Brock Green takes him down after 12. Second down and five. Gophers bring the blitz, and here's the handoff to Harper. Up the middle, going to the right, and he has a first down in this run of 10. And now in field goal range, Temple with the first spark of offense today in the game. And on second and 11, Jackson makes the catch, and he'll be up to the first down marker, and he will get it. We'll see if this Gophers defense can clamp down here in the red zone as Riley gives to Harper, and a great blitz by Damian Wilson, trapping Harper in the backfield for a loss of four yards. It's second down and 14 following a big play by the middle linebacker Damian Wilson and Riley back to work through the air. Caught by Alex Jackson, he picks up nine. In a third medium now, the Temple Owls need five. And Minnesota backs off and Riley just quickly gets rid of it. He saw some incoming pressure and the Gophers hold him to a field goal attempt. It's 3-0 in favor of Temple as Minnesota will try to answer back. And here's Danell Kirkwood on the ground and nowhere for him to go. He may have gotten one yard. It's third and 13 for Philip Nelson. He goes trips right this time, and he'll slide to his left, and he's gonna make a decision. Here's the pass downfield, and it's incomplete in traffic. Gophers go three and out. A very slow start for the Gophers offense. We'll see if the defense can help him out a little bit as Harper takes the carry, and there's Theron Cochran. He'll lose a yard on the play. Theron Cochran has definitely been one of our best defensive players this year, almost averaging one sack a game. It's third down and 11 now for Riley, as he's got nowhere to go, and Rashid Hagman will put him down. It's a sack for the senior. And Minnesota's defense comes up with a stop, and we'll see if this Gophers offense will actually get going on this possession. But without a first down, as McDonald makes a five-yard grab. Can they get their first conversion? Third down and four. Nelson out of the shotgun with some time and his pass is intercepted by Tyler Matakevich. He wanted his tight end, Drew Goodger. It was good coverage by Matakevich and it's all football. Third down after the interception and Riley will throw out of the shotgun a four-man rush and way behind his target and it is field goal time. About a 45 or 46 yard attempt for Jim Cooper Jr. as his kick is up and it's hooking left but it's inside the left up right and Temple's up 6-0. We've seen this Minnesota offense have inconsistent starts to the games. They're down 6-0 here as Kirkwood takes the carry up the middle. He picks up eight. Good start to the drive. Now can they get a first down? Nelson to throw and uh-oh, he's in trouble. He's sacked. He loses five on the play and now third and seven. Someone's got to make a play to get this team going. It's third and seven. Nelson against the blitz, and his pass is caught by Devin Crawford. Tufts, a catch this Gophers offense needed. And second down and 14, trips right for Nelson, as we'll throw quickly underneath, and it's caught by Andre McDonald. He'll pick up 12 and make it third and short. 
Now this offense stringing together some first downs and getting going. And now a new set of downs for Nelson and back down he goes. He's sacked again for a loss of six. This Temple defensive front is applying a lot of pressure. We'll see if they work Nelson out of the pocket a little bit more as he stands tall this time and fires it deep. Pulled down by Devin Crawford Tufts. So far it's been Crawford Tufts sparking this offense and now in the red zone as Nelson has pressure in his face. His pass is caught by Drew Goodger and he picks up eight. A third and two. It's Brickty and Crawford Tufts to the right and Nelson play action. He'll stand in the pocket to the end zone and Manikevich is there again. Interception for Temple as he had Crawford Tufts in the back of the end zone but Manikevich read it and undercut the route from the opposite side. You cannot have red zone turnovers. Crawford Tufts is open for a second but that window closed quickly as Harper takes this carry and he has nine and a first down. Kenny Harper trying to get it going on the ground. This run defense is pretty good, although they've struggled as of late. Dan Riley over the middle. It's holding by Miller, who shakes off a defender. That's Shabazz, and he gets 20. Back down the field go Temple, but selling for field goals can really hurt you. They're up 6-0. And Riley, he's scrambling in trouble, and the Gophers take him down. He loses 7, Theron Cochran. The Gophers will keep three of the four starting defensive linemen for next year, including Theron Cochran. And he's been great to watch as Miller makes the catch over the middle and he gets 14. So the catch of 14 makes it third down and three. And handoff to Harper, trying to go up the middle. Now wants to go outside, he breaks one tackle. Cochran is there, but forward progress will get it. And first down and 10. Minnesota brings the blitz. Riley floats it outside and Fitzpatrick has it. Jalen Fitzpatrick from 21 yards out. It was a zone look for Minnesota. Safety was slow to get over. Not the greatest play call in that situation. 13 to zero. Minnesota has to find a way to answer. There's only 33 seconds to go in the half and Nelson showing off his speed as he takes off and gets the first down running out of bounds. Minnesota has two timeouts, three wide receivers and half a minute to work. Here's the blitz from Temple as Nelson slides and fires middle cup by McDonald. He gets 28 yards into field goal range. You have to get at least a field goal here at second and six, 18 seconds. Nelson moving left and he's sacked again for a loss of seven. The sack takes the Gophers perhaps out of Hawthorne's field goal range and they have no timeouts. Nelson floats it outside, it's hauled in by Goodger. That's a four yard gain. They at least get it back to make it a 50 yard field goal attempt for Chris Hawthorne. From left hash, Leidner holds and Hawthorne drilled it. And Minnesota gets on the board before halftime. 13-3, not the first half Minnesota wanted. It's a 10-point game going into the second half. We'll see if Minnesota can make a comeback. And the Gophers come out in the third quarter with the football as they try to overcome a 10-point deficit. An ugly first half of offense, but plenty of time to make it up as Nelson off the read option. He'll keep it, and he's still going down the sideline. That's 26 yards for Philip Nelson. That's one way to get started here in the second half. Use that run game, use your dual threat quarterback. Nelson now flying out to the right side. He's gonna run again across midfield. He'll slide smartly and pick up the first down. We've seen this team be very successful when Nelson runs and it's third down and seven. Nelson's gonna take off again. He's gonna fight for the first down and I think he just barely got it. A fearless run by Nelson moves the chains. And now Nelson sets up a screen, it's Crawford Tufts to the left, he makes a move to the outside, 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Devin Crawford Tufts in the 30 yard screen pass, catch and run, and Minnesota has their first touchdown, and this guy has led the passing game today, Crawford Tufts in for 6. Temple offense facing a 3 and out, this Gophers team has come out hot out of the locker room, and Riley, he's gonna go deep, down the middle and it's intercepted! Demarius Travis at the 30 yard line. On the return across the 40 to midfield and Minnesota will have it at the 50 yard line. What a second half opening for this Gophers team on offense. And now the interception for Demarius Travis. First and 10 for the Gophers. Split shotgun, handoff, it's Kirkwood up the middle. Big hole in the defense, he has a first down. He'll get 11 yards. Gophers still down by three, they're looking to take this lead. And Nelson, option left, great lead blocked by Kirkwood, and Nelson across the 20, he's tripped up, it's a gain of 20. First down and 10 in the red zone. Nelson to the outside, wide open is Andre, inside the five and McDonald is down to the two yard line. First and goal. 
A test of strength to take the lead. Goal line package in the game. First and goal, Kirkwood up the middle. He's in. Touchdown, Gophers. Minnesota has taken the lead here in the heart of Dallas Bowl, 16 to 13. Minnesota has added two touchdowns in the third quarter. It is a four point lead as Temple tries to answer back in a quick throw to Alex Jackson. That's a quick 13 yard strike. 3.08 to play in the third quarter. Riley delayed handoff up the middle and he runs into Hagman and Jamie Gilmore loses two. Temple's in a very tough spot. They lack any momentum in the game at this point. It's third and 14 and Riley down the left sideline. He goes long and guess who? It's knocked away by Demarius Travis. Temple has punted twice and Minnesota has scored two touchdowns in the third quarter and the Gophers have the ball again and the run game is opening up for Kirkwood. Gophers go three wide, they need three yards here on second down. Here's the blitz and quick throw to the outside. It is hauled in by McDonald. He picks up 10. Standing at about midfield, a three wide set again. Nelson to the outside and wide open as Crawford Tufts will take the catch and go up past the 40 for a gain of 13. We're in field goal range. Under a minute to go in the third quarter. Here's the blitz. Nelson swings it out to Kirkwood, and McDonald missed the block, and Kirkwood won't get anything. He may have even lost a yard on the play. The third and six for Minnesota. Roderick Williams and James Gillum next to Nelson to throw, and Nelson is hit, and the pass just floats down. It's an incompletion. Hawthorne to give Minnesota a touchdown lead, another 50-yard attempt, and this kick is just over the crossbar. Good, it's 2013. All Minnesota so far in the second half as we get underway in the fourth quarter. It's Harper up the middle on second down, getting a gain of six. Minnesota's 20 points are all unanswered, and it's third and two. Riley runs the option. He's blasted by Cochran, but he pitches to Gilmore, who gets the first down, and the chains will move. Only a touchdown game. Harper the lone back. He runs past Wilson, and he has a hole in the defense. And Harper across the 20. He's gone. Temple has tied the game, pending the extra point. Kenny Harper goes untouched for about 63 yards. What an answer for Temple to get back in this one. It's 20 apiece as Minnesota has scored on their last four possessions. 6.48 to go in the fourth quarter as it's a jet sweep this time to McDonald and they'll pick up about six or seven on the run. Third and short, Minnesota, tie game, and Nelson back to pass. With time, he dumps it off, Gillum, stiff arm, he's fighting, gets about an extra five yards, an 11 yard catch. Three wide set, Kirkwood next to Nelson, he fakes the quick slant and dumps it off to Andre McDonald, running underneath and gets seven yards. Another key third down for Minnesota. Three wide, they need three yards. Kirkwood in the block, but Nelson has nowhere to go, and he is sacked. Minnesota's going to punt the football after the sack by Levi Brown. And Temple is swinging the momentum back in their favor. Tie ball game, handoff. It's Kenny Harper with good blocking in the secondary across the 20. He gets 14. 4.46 to play. Riley, he fakes the Harper, keeps it himself, has blockers beyond the 35, and he's taken down for a gain of 14 of his own. This Gophers defense could be getting a little gassed out there. The chunks are getting bigger for Temple, but this time Damian Wilson, a much-needed four-yard loss. Temple mainly running, but they have to pass here. It's a five-wide set as Riley finds Gilmore running the slant. Underneath, he has the first down, and he'll pick up 19 in the Minnesota Territory. Almost in the field goal range. Under four minutes to go as Minnesota brings a safety down. Riley keeps it. He's taken down for running for a gain of nine. It's second down and six. Not quite to the 30-yard line. Riley to the sideline. It's almost picked off. Knocked away. Third down. Third and six. Minnesota has a four-man front, and they're blitzing two linebackers. But wide open is Alex Jackson. Running free, a 19-yard catch. And the Owls are in the red zone. Gophers defense now trying to hold them to a field goal inside the 15. Riley drops back to pass, fires right, and it is dropped by Miller, making it third and 10. Offset eye formation, third down, 10 yards to go, and Riley hands it off, and Harper has some room. He makes a cut back to the inside, and he got the first down. Unbelievable. A big chain mover, and now goal to go, handoff, Harper, open space, touchdown Kenny Harper. Temple has taken a touchdown lead.
This is it. Minnesota needs a touchdown drive, a two-minute drill for young quarterback Philip Nelson. He'll dump it off outside to McDonald, who runs upfield to the first down marker. He'll get it, and the clock will stop. First and 10, three wide again. Nelson, quick swing out right, caught Kirkwood, 35, brought down after a gain of three. One minute, two timeouts for Minnesota. Shotgun for Nelson, back to pass, quick strike is caught by the tight end. Drew Goodger, another first down, clock stops again. Nearing Temple territory, still a three wide shotgun for Nelson as he stands in the pocket with time and fires and it's caught by Isaac Frickty for his first catch today. And almost in field goal range. Two timeouts, 44 seconds. Second down and 10 for Philip Nelson. To throw, he moves right, deep over the middle, and it is intercepted! Temple has it, it's Hutton on the interception, and that is going to end the Heart of Dallas Bowl game. Nelson tried to hit the senior, Derek Engel over the middle, safety made a great play, and he had Crawford Tufts getting open over the middle. And that is it. Minnesota has lost another heartbreaking bowl game. Year after year, it seems to be the same story. They put up a great fight, a tremendous comeback in the third quarter. They scored 17 points in the third quarter, but Temple had a 14-point fourth quarter to take the lead and win the game. And you know the young sophomore quarterback, Nelson, has to feel terrible after a game like this. Three interceptions, the very pivotal one at the end. He put up a great fight in the third quarter. His running was a big reason why the Gophers were able to come back, made some big throws. But too many mistakes, and the Gophers fall the Temple 27 to 20 as the year has come to an end. Minnesota finishes the year six and seven. They won three Big Ten games this year, and Minnesota will try to regroup in the offseason after they send off a cast of seniors that were a pivotal part of this team. But we'll see what happens when this team moves forward. We go to the offseason to the incoming recruits. There will be a lot of holes to fix on defense, but the youth on offense will continue to grow and hopefully prosper next year. And hopefully there is positivity in the horizon. But thanks for watching, everybody. A disappointing end of the year. Minnesota almost came back again, but come up short in the heart of Dallas Bowl. The offseason is up next. Follow me on Twitter to find out when that will be. And we'll move on to the next season and see this Gophers team move forward and put this season behind them. There's a lot of really good recruits in this upcoming class, and we'll see what the roster looks like when the next season debuts. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in Season 2 of the Minnesota Gophers Dynasty.